Hello, hello, hello. This is Jenna Cantor. I'm all about performing and physical therapy. And today I'm going to be discussing how to really decide what jewelry is best for you to wear on stage. Okay, people haven't really thought of this before, but Jewelry can be distracting, and you think, okay, I'll get over it. But no, jewelry can be distracting to the point where you could actually put other people in danger on stage, where you're not focusing on your turn or what your left arm is doing, and you could smack your partner in the face. Now I'm going to show you some examples so you can see what I'm saying. Right here you can see a nice small little dud. You know, this is light and everything, I'm fine. This earring over here is actually okay for me as well. It's very, very light. Now, this is where it can be distracting, depending on the individual, when they're on the stage. This, if we add some pounds to this, this could hang on my ears, pulling it down like this. That right there alone can be a sign because a pulling on your ear can give you a sense of imbalance in your body. Even if you're not 100% aware of it, it can throw you off. It can also literally smack you in the face. If these this drawer that you put on is loose and it has nothing in the back to hold it in it can also be something that could fly off and hit someone in the face as well now of course if you're just a person um, playing in a band and marching and carrying a big instrument you're not doing these fast head switches however if you're, if you're a dancer if you're doing a fight scene uh, as an actor on the stage you do actually run that risk these are little things where you're thinking oh my gosh my jewelry could like harm people but it's true you're doing this on a regular basis things like this happen so it's something to be aware of when you're working with the costume designer or if you are costuming yourself on the stage another thing I want to bring up aside from earrings let's say that this is a necklace there we go here is the necklace All right technically it's just a little nice <laughs> flower for your hair but if this is a necklace and it's a long one okay not a short one a long one long necklaces have this longer range to swing once again this could hit you in the face it could hit you in the face as you're doing things side to side and everything it can freaking choke you it can also fly and hit other people you're dancing with so that's another thing to consider regarding length and jewelry in general I think that's about it. If you have any questions about particular jewelry you are working with right now or deciding upon as a costumer, I would love to collaborate with you on your thought process because we're all a team and trying to just create a beautiful product on the stage. And who wants to get hurt? All right, take care. Bye.